Now, OK, as the weather heads towards its warmest months, finally, our resident dog trainer, Kelly McFarlane, joins us to talk about heat stroke in dogs and to give us some tips on keeping our canines cool this summer. And you brought Zoe in as well. Kelly and Zoe, it sounds like some sort of fashion label. <laughs> you should start up. Yeah, I didn't want to leave her at home, so I thought, oh, she can come with me. She likes it here. She does. She's part <laughs> of the family. Well, tell me a little bit about heat stroke in dogs. I mean, what are the common causes? Uh, two main common causes, exercising your dog in the middle of the day when it's the hottest time. And the second one, which you tend to hear about sometimes in the media, is leaving your dog in a hot car. That's never a good idea. No, and unfortunately it's very, very common. You see it a lot when you go to the supermarket. Mm. Um, and it, it only actually takes minutes for your animal to be critically Ill. Well, that's interesting. I didn't realise that. So what are some of the common signs that we should be looking out for? Uh, so signs which probably Zoe's Zoe? displaying at the moment. Uh, so she tends to pant, so you definitely will see panting. You'll get restlessness. Um, if it's get, getting to a critical stage, so the animal is, you know, is getting really ill, then they will collapse and they will go unconscious. OK, so what do I do if my dog is displaying all these things? More than anything, it's gonna, you've got to get them straight to the, the veterinary clinic. Uh, yeah, there's no hesitation. You've got to get them in because sadly the animal will die. Oh, that's, yeah. and you do not want that. So what then, do, what do I do to avoid it all happening? Simple things. Number one, definitely don't put your dog in a car and leave them there. Mm. Uh, don't exercise during the day. If it's at home, it's always a good idea to have numerous different water bowls around the garden because people forget the sun does move. Yeah. So it's a nice way to make sure the animal still gets, you know, cold water throughout the day. Look at where the animal's kennel is as well um, because, again, sometimes it can be in that direct sunlight and they just can't get away and, and into any shaded area. So how much shade do you need to think about when, if you're leaving your dog outside in your property? You need to have a fair amount of shade around. Yeah, I mean, ideally, you know, I mean, certain properties might have big trees. Some people will actually build um, a shaded area if there's access to a garage that the animal can go in and out. And even simple things, again, depending on the household, you can have um, a, a doggy door put in so the dog can choose to go in and out as they please and you know our cats do so why not the dog? Yeah, although sometimes dogs don't want to use those doors, do they? Our <laughs> dog in particular, she's a nightmare. Uh, so how much water should I be leaving around? Oh, definitely a good three to four different bowls, yeah, in, in, in different areas. Because they do drink more than you actually think, don't they? Yeah, dogs are very good as well at, at regulating their water intake, so when they are thirsty, they, they will drink, uh, unlike cats who a lot of the time would rather turn their nose up and suffer, but, you know, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> dogs are more friendly. Um, are some breeds more susceptible than others to heat strike? Certainly dogs with uh, flatter faces, so your bulldogs, uh, your French bulldogs, pugs, um, definitely can be more um, susceptible to it because of the way they're genetically made up. And I take it it's not just dogs, it's other, other pets that you have to be worried about too? Yeah, I think again if you've got little animals like, you know, if you've got some mice or, you know, just your, your little rodent type animals, just think about where their cages are. Are they actually right in front of the window in direct sunlight? Um, they, they will get pretty hot. Yeah, and put your bunny in the shade. Yes. And as we said, yeah. cats, they're unusual. I had a friend who stayed at a friend's place recently, uh, was house-sitting, and the cat would only drink out of the bath. They had to put water in the bath yep. every day, only place the cat would drink. Yeah, toilets as well, they like to drink from yeah. toilets. See, yeah. dogs <laughs> are not that fussy. Dogs will drink from anywhere, won't they? <laughs> hey, Pretty much. Well, thank you so much, Kelly. Uh, great tips. It's very important to look after our pets in this heat. And you can pick up a Sticky King washable hair, pet fur and lint remover and get the cafe special deal by calling the number on screen. Now coming up, we'll hear how, well, how to uh, bring yoga and its benefits into your everyday life just after we check in with Holly.